MBS were pretty flat, being down five basis points on the open on Friday. Bonds were slightly weaker overnight, with more of the losses being seen in Asian market hours versus European hours earlier in the week. Then we got the PCE numbers. Monthly core PCE came in at 0.3 on a 0.3 forecast, was 0.2 previously. Annual core PCE came in at 4.4 versus a 4.4 forecast, down from 4.7 previously, so it is improving a little bit. Incomes were 0.2 versus a 0.2 forecast spending was down 0.2 on a minus 0.1 forecast year over year change of 4.4 percent is the smallest rise since october of 2021 even though there's a decline and inflation seems to be falling inflation will remain a hot topic for fed the rest of this year this will likely remain above the fed's target for the rest of the year which means we're more likely to see a target rate near five or a little over five Goods inflation and supply chain issues seem to be a thing of the past. Remember back with the big chip shortage? Well, Intel is swimming in excess inventory. Commodities like lumber are back to pre-pandemic levels. Housing inflation will stop bumping up the inflation numbers during the summer. The final leg is incomes, which have been falling for three months. The Fed seems to have gotten a hold of inflation for the most part, and the work is largely done. Does that mean prices will return to pre-pandemic levels? No, it does not. They will still stay high. Inflation in the past year means that prices have hit a new higher plateau and will likely stay around there for the most part. Penny home sales rose 2.5% in December after six straight months of declines. Year over year transactions are still down by a whopping 33.8%. That said, it looks like a nuclear winter for housing is pretty much over. The two parts most capable of surprising the market this week were the Thursday GDP and Friday's PCE. While it's always good to maintain some respect for potential surprises, we weren't looking for any major revelations, plus a combination of them, second tier nature, and the fact that they came in close to consensus through some reports caused no real regret for those that hit the snooze button all week. And short, this week has been pretty much a snooze fest all in all. Next week will probably not be the case. On Tuesday, we get Case Shiller, which will be interesting, but probably not moving the market, but we did get the Chicago PMI and consumer confidence. Wednesday, we get the ADP jobs number, as well as some more PMI data and the FOMC rate decision. Most people are thinking it's going to go up a quarter. And then on Thursday, we get jobless claims as well as factory orders. And then on Friday, we'll get non-farm payrolls, and unemployment rate, and some more ISM information. So that will be a lot of information coming in next week. So if you have some time over the weekend, check out our common sources and influences, particularly our sponsor at wellthatmakesense.com.